हेलो स्टूडेंट सो टुडे वी विल स्टडी द टॉपिक ग्रेटेस्ट कॉमन डिवाइजर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी व्हाट इज द कंडीशन फॉर डिविजिबिलिटी एंड देन वी विल डिफाइन दिस टॉपिक ग्रेटेस्ट कॉमन डिवाइजर दैट इज जीसीडी सो एन इंटीजर बी इज सेड टू बी डिविजिबल बाय एन इंटीजर ए नॉट इक्वल्स टू जीरो इफ देयर एग्जिस्ट सम इंटीजर सी सच दैट बी इक्वल्स टू ए सी एंड सिम्बॉलिकली इट कैन बी डिनोटेड बाय A divides B. We denote A does not be divide B to indicate that B is not divisible by A. It means if any integer B is said to be divisible by an integer A different from zero. Here we have taken A different from zero because in the denominator, when terms will take value zero, then the meaning is not defined. So the denominator that is A should be different from zero. Now we take some example. Minus twelve is divisible by four because minus twelve can be written as minus twelve is equivalent to four into minus three. However, ten is not divisible by three, for there is no integer c such that it makes the statement ten equals to three c. Because when you you will put c equals to one, then you will get ten equals to three. When c equals to two, then ten equals to six. When c equals to three, then ten equals to Nine when c equals to four, then ten equals to twelve. It means we cannot find an integer c so that ten equals to three c should be true. Okay. So if a and b are arbitrary integers, then an integer d is said to be a common divisor of a and b if both d divides a and d divides b. इसको हम एग्जाम्पल में ऐसे भी देख देख सकते हैं इफ़ वी टेक अ नंबर टेन देन टेन इज डिवाइडेड बाई टू एंड ए नदर नंबर ट्वेल्व एंड ट्वेल्व इज ऑल्सो डिवाइड बाई टू सो हेयर टू इज द कॉमन डिवाइजर ऑफ टेन एंड ट्वेल्व नाउ वी सी बिकॉज हेयर वन इज अ डिवाइजर ऑफ एवरी इंटीजर सो वन इज अ कॉमन डिवाइजर ऑफ ए एंड बी इट इज ऑब्वियस दैट वन विल डिवाइड एवरी इंटीजर सो वन विल मेक अ कॉमन डिवाइजर फॉर If for any two integers, hence their set of positive common divisors is non-empty. Now, this according me, what is that? We have non-empty. Uh, the set of uh, set of positive positive common divisors is that non-empty. It means that one all, always available will be, which will divide each integer. Ko divide Now, every integer divides zero, so that if a equals to b equals to zero, then every integer serves as a common divisor of a and b. मीन्स कि अगर कोई दो इन, दो इंटीजर हमने लिया और दोनों जीरो लिया तो उसके डिवाइजर बहुत सारे हो सकते हैं जीरो इज डिविजल बाई वन जीरो इज डिविजल बाई टू जीरो इज डिविजल बाई एनी इंटीजर्स इट मीन्स द डिवाइजर ऑफ जीरो विल बी इनफाइनाइट सो द सेट ऑफ पॉजिटिव सो सो द सेट ऑफ पॉजिटिव कॉमन डिवाइजर्स ऑफ ए एंड बी इज इनफाइनाइट हाउ एवर वेन एटलीस्ट वन ऑफ ए और बी इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम जीरो If one of a or b is different from zero, then there will be a finite number of positive divisors or positive common divisors. Because suppose that we have taken a number zero and second one is ten, then ten is divisible by one, two, five, and ten, and zero is divisible by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, any number. But out of that. But out of that, the common divisors will be one, two, one, two, five, and ten. It means in this case, what we have seen that when any number which is different from zero, then number of div divisors will be finite, not infinite. so among these there is a largest one called the greatest common divisor of a and b so out of these divisors one one will be a largest because if we have taken a number suppose that 6 and 12 then divisors of 6 are 1 2 3 6 and 12 are 1 2 3 6 and also 12 but out of Out of that, the common divisors will be one, two, three, and six. And out of these common divisors, there will there will be a largest divisor that is six. So now we can now we are able to define 
the term greatest common divisor that is GCD. So let us see the definition. Let A and B be given integers with at least one of them different from 0. Then the greatest common divisor of A and B denoted by GCD of A and B is the positive integer D satisfying the following condition. First condition is D divides A and D divides B. It means D will be the common divisor of A and B. And second one, if C divides A and C divides B, then C must be less than or equals to D. Then D is known as the GCD of A and B. The positive divisors of minus 12 are example is 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 ke based on kuch example lete hain uh, we will see what, what will be the positive divisors of minus 12 so the positive divisors of minus 12 are 1 2 3 4 6 12 means 1 2 3 4 6 12 say 12 divisible hoga whereas those of 30 are agar hum number 30 liya to 30 ka jo positive divisor hoga wo 1 2 3 5 6 10 15 and 30 so the positive common divisor अब इन दोनों में हम देखेंगे कि कौन-कौन सा common है minus twelve और thirty का then it is one comma two comma three comma six means one two three and six will divide twelve as well as thirty because so out of these that is out of one comma two comma three comma six six is the largest of all these integers so that GCD of minus twelve and thirty equals to six the same type we will find gcd of minus 5 and 5 the resultant will be 5 gcd of 8 and 17 will be 1 because divisor of the common divisor of 8 and 17 will be only 1 because 8 is a even, even number and 17 is a prime number now gcd of minus 8 and minus 36 equals to 4 4 ka meaning kya hai ki agar hum minus 8 ka positive divisor choose karte hain to wo 1 2 4 or 8 hoga or same like this, minus 36 ka positive divisor 1, 2, 4 and 4, 6, 9, 12, 18. But out of these, the common divide, largest common divisors will be 4. So GCD of minus 8 and minus 36 equals to 4. Now next one is GCD of minus 8 and minus 36 equals to 4. And this 4 can also be written as minus 8 into 4 plus minus 36 into 1 this will give a very important result gcd of minus 8 and minus 36 equals to 4 and this 4 can be written as minus 8 into 4 because we have taken first number minus 8 into 4 plus second number that is minus 36 into 1 it will give the result in linear combination It means GCD of A and B can be represented as a linear combination of A and B. So, on these facts, there is also a theorem that given integers A and B, not both of which are 0. Here the condition is that both of which are 0, so 0 is different. Then there exist integers X and Y such that GCD of A and B equals to A into X plus B into Y, which we have seen in the previous question. Mein dekha bhi hai. GCD of minus 8 or minus 36 में जब हमने calculate किया So now next terms is relatively prime Very important part Very relatively prime देखते हैं क्या है relatively prime Two integers A and B not both of which are 0 Again यहाँ पे same condition होगा दोनों में से कोई एक 0 से different होगा So two integers A and B not both of which are 0 are said to be relatively prime whenever GCD of A and B equals to 1. It means, जो दो numbers हम choose कर रहे हैं और उसका GCD निकालते हैं तो उसका जो largest common divisor होगा वो 1 होगा. अगर ऐसा होता है तो वो दोनों number आपस में relatively prime है otherwise नहीं है. Means, if we take GCD of 5 and 7, so the positive divisors of 5 will be 1 and 5 and the positive divisors of 7 will be 1 and 7. Out of these common divisors will be 1. So GCD of 5 and 7 equals to 1. And since GCD of 5 and 7 equals to 1. So 5 and 7 will be relatively prime. So this way we will choose which number is relatively prime.